Welcome back, everybody. Thursday night, Political Hot Seat. Live call-in show at 727-8750. I am here with uh, Sheriff Candidate uh, Rick Marshall, and uh, we were discussing some different things. You can call in and ask the questions if you wish, but right now I know Rick's got a lot of things going on between now and uh, uh, Election Day, so Rick, you want to announce any of the things where you're going to be at, what, you know, we're just going out, uh, campaigning, meeting the people, answering questions. Uh, there'll be some meet and greets coming up that are being announced. We're going to the debates. Uh, we're, we're just going out, running a good campaign, a good clean campaign, and answering the voters' questions and presenting our message to them, telling them what we're going to do when we get in office, what we're going to change, how we're going to do it, and letting them know that it's not going to take us 100 days to do it. Well, yeah, you know, uh, I know you keep very, very busy, and it seems like this has gone on for a very long time. I remember that first meet and greet that was over at the Maverick that I set up, and boy, that seems like a long time ago now. I can't even remember it hardly, but, you know. It, it seems but, like uh, a lifetime ago. We're getting down to the very end here, and, you know, people living in Nye County, living in Pahrump, you have an opportunity that a lot of people across the country don't have, is... You could find Rick Marshall, and you could talk to him, and you could ask him questions. I've lived in communities to where if the county commissioner or the sheriff lived next door to me, I wouldn't know it. You know, and the thing is, here in Nye County, they could walk up to you, shake your hand, and say, I, what about this, or what about that? And you'll answer their questions. Absolutely. I have not ducked any questions. I've not ducked any debates, any meet and greets. Um, I look forward to them. I look forward to getting our message out to the people. I look forward to answering questions. And at the Harvest Festival this past week, I must have talked to well over 500, 700 people, and it was very, very pleasant experience. Well, you know, I didn't make it to the Harvest Festival because somebody told me there's going to be a lot of uh, politicians down there, so I didn't go. <laughs> but, I mean, but, you know, and that's why I say to the people of Nye County, you can complain about everything you want in that, but you can meet your commissioners, you can meet your sheriff, you can meet your district attorney, your judges. So just be happy that you can do that. Because when you live in those other communities and you're voting just because you see a name, don't do that. Go out and meet the people, ask them the questions, register to vote, know where you're gonna go vote, and do it. That's your right, that's your constitutional right, and that's probably one of the number one rights you got. I mean, you know, people might argue about it being number one, but you know, if you don't do it, you don't do it. And I know Rick and others have all put a lot of time, a lot of effort into it. They've heard a lot of rumors. They've heard a lot of insults. They've heard a lot of good things. But I guess that goes along with being a candidate, right? It does. You know, it, it absolutely does. Uh, there's so many things that you have to have a pretty thick skin when you uh, get into politics, you become a candidate. You know, the um, as soon as I announced Rick Dugan was my uh, second in command, he immediately, him and his family, got attacked unjustifiably. <laughs> Rumors were spread on the internet about him that were absolute, total false. Uh, it was done by the Anybody But Rick campaign. They made a video about him, about his family. Uh, just vicious attacks that were absolutely lies, just absolute lies. And that's the type of people that we're dealing with. Well, that's, I mean, uh, I don't know how to put that. Uh, you know, like that's that technology again. You know, I guess the Internet's good and it's never going to go away. It's only going to be, get, as far as I'm concerned, worse. But uh, it's uh, something we're going to have to put up with and, you know, but I just think it's uh, if what a person puts on the Internet, when you talk Internet, are you talking Facebook and all that kind of stuff? Facebook, or, uh, you know, some of the blogs that they have out there. If it's an absolute lie, there should be something a person could do about it, you know. Absolutely. But there's obviously not because this could come in from China or Russia or someplace and you wouldn't even right. know who. But I don't really, outside of uh, fantasy football, uh, two chess games that I play with, one person from New Zealand and one from France. And the rest of the time I got my computer screwed up, so I don't know. So, <laughs> but that's mainly the things I do with it. And, and I know my granddaughter and my wife and other people in the family, they get on it and 
and they go through and they tell tell me everything people say about me, and I tell them I don't want to hear it. You know, right? Uh, if you want to say something to me or you want to say something about me, I don't hide from anybody. Come up and say it to me. <laughs> you know, exactly. But don't. But and I know that's what it is for you guys as candidates and that, and it's a shame that it goes that way. Uh, a lot of people, they can sit back and they don't really know what is put into the effort put into being a candidate. But once again, you got special events coming up. You want to announce those dates and times again? We have a candidates night on uh, October 7th at the Nugget. Starts at 6 p.m. We have a candidates night on October 9th at the VFW. And then there's meet and greets that will be announced uh, as they come up special meet and greets uh, that people are hosting for myself. Okay, well, you know, as we get closer to election day, all this stuff is kind of jammed into a smaller circle now. So, um, you know, it uh, seems like you'll start running across where this person wants to have one and this person wants to have one, but they're both going to be on the same day and hand. Right. And you don't want to offend anybody, you know. <laughs> it's, exactly. You know. Which makes it hard uh, when you got that whole six month period there, you can spread it out and cover most of the things. But, you know, and I appreciate what the candidates do here. I think I've met just about every candidate that's running, and I'm not going to give the names, but there is two <laughs> that I would never want to even talk to. But outside of that, I'm not going to mention any names. But, <laughs> but uh, outside of that, uh, I just. Uh, I think it's great that the people put the time, the effort, the expense, and everything into it. And that's why, no matter if you are in favor of the person, no matter if you like Rick or not, you don't have, well, you do have the right, but you shouldn't put anybody down. When I had my meet and greet, there was one person out of, I don't know how many people were there, one person that got out of line and said something inappropriate. And I was not gonna have that about you know anybody. And I don't see that as helping the matter. If I'm supporting person A and you're supporting person B, you should not get out of line and yell and cuss at person A because you don't like them. And I shouldn't get out of line and yell and cuss at person B because uh, I don't like them. I think what you do is you let the people decide. Let the candidates express themselves, uh, let you know what they have as far as knowledge and everything of the job. And then you go out and try to make the most sensible vote that you can. I mean, and I know it's hard to do, but anyway, uh, Rick's been here. He's been here before. He has come across on the TV about, you know, he'll meet anybody. He'll answer any questions. We still have time at 727-8750 if you wish to call in and ask the question. Don't corner me in a convenience store tomorrow <laughs> and want to know why I didn't ask X, Y, or Z because I wouldn't do it. And most of the time when you're talking about that, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. So, <laughs> so anyway, and uh, let's see. We got a teleprompter here and I got to learn how to speak English. I'm so used to answering the phone in Spanish. But anyway, Rick, you got any closing comments on this will be the last time on political hot seat anyway. Uh, anything you want to say to the people? And well, I want to thank the people in Nye County. This has been quite a ride for an election season. Um, it's probably been one of the most controversials, one of the most interesting. I truly have enjoyed meeting the people in Nye County from Duckwater all the way uh, to the far corners of Pahrump and in between. Uh, as I've said from the beginning, I am the most qualified candidate. I have a bachelor's degree in public administration. I have two associate's degrees, one in criminal justice and one in paralegal studies. I have an executive Nevada post. I have attended and graduated the Northwestern School of Police Staff and Command College, and I was the acting assistant county manager. I believe that my qualifications starting from when I first started almost 34 years ago uh, to date set me above uh, my opponent. I believe that we can get the job done with your help, the citizens vote, and I know that we will hold true to the principles that we have said from the very beginning. 
uh, the constitutional principles that we stand by, that we live by, that we adhere to every day. And I believe that with your help, the voters' help voting for me on November 4th, we'll get the job done. I ask everybody to visit my website, www.rickmarshallnv.com. Do your research, call me, uh, talk to me, ask my opinions on things. I'll be happy to meet anybody anywhere, as I've stated from the beginning. And I think that after doing the research, you will see that I am clearly the most qualified candidate for this position and that I would appreciate your support and your vote to elect me as your next Nye County Sheriff. And I thank you and say God bless to everybody. Well, you know, um, so far I feel very fortunate that this show has kept everything pretty level-headed. I haven't had really any trouble at all. And uh, I appreciate that. And all the candidates that have been on here have all been perfectly good people and you too you've been on here a couple of times now and i just think that the people should listen to what uh, mr marshall just said and you know use your better judgment when you vote it's your right all right this is it for this thursday night we'll be back next thursday night you all have a great weekend take care and thank you rick thank you yep.